हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ कैन यू राइट एन आउटलाइन फॉर योर प्रोजेक्ट इफ़ यू आर परसिंग यूर एम टेक फ्रॉम बिट्स पिलानी डब्ल्यू आई एल पी एम टेक प्रोग्राम एंड आई थिंक इट्स सेम एक्रॉस इन ऑल दी अदर एम टेक्स एम टेक प्रोग्राम ऑल्सो बट दिस पर्टिकुलर डिस्कशन इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी स्पेसिफिक फॉर डेटा साइंस बिकॉज आई हैव बिन परसिंग माई डेटा साइंस एम टेक फ्रॉम बिट्स पिलानी सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग फॉरवर्ड लेट मी पुट फ्यू डिस्कलेमर्स हीयर वन इज it's based on my experience what i have been doing and i also interacted with other people the intention of this video is to get you educated and aware so that you take your final semester seriously and also have some guidelines how to do that because in our uh, batch what we have seen people were confused what they should put in even though the guideline guidelines were provided by bits pilani but those were not very elaborate and people were struggling around so that's the major intention of this particular video and the third thing is just to get you motivated and why you should focus too much on your project and why it is very important so let so this is like template for outline and uh, i have used it and few other people have also used it and it was working very well so i will be explaining you what you should put in you might use different template or if you want to use this template i will link this particular template in the description you can download it from there so in the uh, dissertation title you will be putting your project name and this is like first step when you are starting up your project in the name of the supervisor is your company manager name or guide who will be guiding you or helping you maybe your supervisor or mentor however it is then you will put your name student name and then you have your roll number the critical part is abstract summary so in the abstract summary what i have followed and i when i searched on internet what people suggested is to write a story so while you are writing a story uh, you know organize your story is is a very tough task so you need you need to answer few questions so that you have a uh, structured story what is the problem you are solving so it could be like for example if you are working for healthcare uh, problem you could describe how difficult this situation is and why you are solving this particular problem then like okay wh why are you choosing the sub this subject is next question so you also need to explain why you are choosing this subject why your attention is required right now when there are multiple other fields as well but why you want to work in this particular area and then you provide your proposal like what is your proposal what you want to do for this particular problem so kind of a solution at a very high level it's not like you don't need to tell what algorithms you are going to use or what all other things you are going to use you just need to tell at a very high level uh, like if my if, uh, by using ai ml technologies we can embed it some extra interventions and then the quality of healthcare will improve drastically something like that and then at the last you put the keywords kind of nlp healthcare ai ml like this and if you have put these keywords make sure that these keywords are related to what you are talking about here so this is this is as simple as this you can have like up to 500 i think uh, 500 words however you want but i i usually have like four par paragraphs one paragraph is about little bit setting up the background then what is the problem and then why i'm choosing the subject and then the proposal and then i close it so this is like four four paragraphs a small small paragraphs i write and then this gives a clear picture what i'm trying to say so this is about abstract summary uh, and then we so i have narrowed down further because this document needs needed to be comprehensive and based on this your professor will be taking a decision whether they should be they should accept your um, project for mtech final year project or not so this is like very very important document right now so uh, now further you can talk about like problem statement in detail and uh, when you are talking about the problem statement it's always good and i got this review comment that we should do literature review maybe like you have read some newspaper you have read some articles in town internet or maybe you have done some uh, you know, research paper reading or review of papers before starting up this project like how did you come up with this project maybe you have read something so add them here and explain them why did you do that and you could also add those references here from those links so that your profession or examiner will be much much confident that you know your subject very well and see this this subject can be can be from your company and can be from outside of your company but your manager needs to approve it now once you have done that you need to also talk about little bit what you are proposing and you know the Now, uh, when you are talking about your solution, you need to like talk about in terms of uh, what is the solution you will provide, what are the key features, and then you also need to provide what is the unique feature, what is the uniqueness of your exist from the existing solution. So, I found this is very very tough tough part for me, but 
uh, the tip will be like any potential improvement if you can improve a little bit you can improve the accuracy you can improve the target audience you can improve like add some extra features that is also kind of uniqueness from the existing solution but uh, once you do the literature review you will easily understand what you have to put over here in the unique or uh, other existing solution in this part but i would say spend significant amount of time on thinking about the proposed solution it's not only for the uh, for the mtech final project itself but it is also good for your understanding building up your thought processes i have gone through with this process i can tell you this was the best experience i had uh, while working on this project so uh, moving forward you have like few things i have included a kind of a business process flow because you might be having something in your head that okay this is the way system will be working but people doesn't know that so it's it's better to explain the steps and how the functionality will work so for example you can search little bit of internet usually there are boxes you make in the ppts you put those boxes okay step one is step two step three step four in the step one actor does that step two actor does that and something like that so you put that you can search on internet and get more information about it i think this will be very 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 helpful when you uh, when you do research on internet you will get more clarity on what you want to do in your project then also this is very very important and please put it if you want to do that but it's not like nobody is asking you to do that i personally recommend it's very very important to have an in scope and out of scope session or explanation in your outline itself so that a professor cannot you know go beyond okay will you do that will you not do that why you will not do that so that you have a visibility what is in scope what is in out of scope of this particular project because this project is only for 16 weeks and it's like too much of work when you it will come to writing a report developing solution it's it's significant amount of work so please make sure that you have also this section and again it's an optional but it's my highly i'm recommending it very high then also talk about resources needed if for example some people have taken a project which needs hardware and some level of hardware dependency you should also mention that it's a good practice to talk about your uh, resources needed for example i was working on a project where only the software was used so i have not used any hardware kind of thing specifically like internet of thing so i i didn't need that but i still mentioned my resources needed then the next one is coming about the potential challenges and risk in doing the project so see there can be like all multiple challenges right so uh, in your projects in data science is all about like uncertainty so if you have any challenges any risk in your project mention that for aiml you can use data as one of them that data collection is my challenge or data quality is a challenge or data is not aligned what problem i'm solving that is one of the challenge for the project and the risk highlighted so that if your project fails or you are not able to reach the accuracies or the performance you were trying to optimize these potential challenges and risk can be mapped back to the what you said initially then the next part is like solution architecture so solution architecture is something which gives a visibility that okay overall how it will look like again it's an optional activity but it's if you know how to do and uh, build a solution architecture it's very very nice uh, to add it and i will say it's nice to have it's not mandatory uh, but my recommendation would be add it because it gives more visibility and clarity to your you and your professor as well so um, the, now coming to the detailed plan this is what uh, the detailed plan of work looks like for me for example i'm sharing mine so you have your synopsis synopsis is like nothing but your outline you submit it you have an expected date and this is something you need to include then you are like you can put as a document here and then you have to share it with your you know upload into the portal then you in the next phase you can say okay i will be doing like literature literature review existing solutions review comparison things like that and you put it to the another document and then you let's say you are doing solution design then you add it to this one then you talk about like you are doing the development part and then dates and then your mid semester review will happen somewhere in between and then for the mid semester review you you need to do two activities you need to provide one report and one ppt ppt is for presenting your solution to the uh, to professor and also like uploading your progress report then you have like you will get some feedbacks from your mid semester you are going to incorporate that so have that section too then you after the mid semester you are still continuing your development so that is like part of your uh, development part two and then you have like your final reporting and then like for example mine is coming upcoming in two days and you will be seeing this video before that or maybe after that so that's why i have shared so th th that's all in your and if you have any references you can add after this so uh, that's all you need to do in outline and uh, it has worked for me i hope it will work for you so please uh, 
please try to try to incorporate all these i am making it because i have not found anything when i was preparing uh, my outline and it was like little bit you know here and there and i could not uh, i have to build everything from scratch but for you i will be attaching this uh, template into this video you can find out this uh, you can take this reference or build your own so that's all in this video i will be making the part two where i will be explaining you how to handle the mid semester reviews and what they expect and what you should be doing and i also try to test the template similar way so if you like this type of content please uh, subscribe share and like the video so see you in the next video thanks a lot